fast. It's been one year since I was here, and you asked for an ultrasound and some equipment, and I'm happy to present it to you from okay, the Atheist Foundation. Thank you very much for bringing a gift from uh, Atheist Atheist Foundation, yeah, thank meaning you know. good health. Yeah. Arriving to the John C. Kelly Clinic in Kabale District, Uganda, is Dr. Stephen Kelly from the Afia Foundation, based in the United <laughs> States of America. Package? Yes. Yeah, he comes yeah, towards welcome. visiting Thank the you. John C. Kelly Clinic, you. being welcomed by the clinic health expert, Centenary Gavas. Since I've been at the John Cleaver Kelly Clinic, and uh, I'm so happy to bring medical supplies to the medical officer, Centenary yes. Gervas, yes. and uh, we have many equipment that Afia has so graciously provided for us. I'm uh, very grateful and uh, thanks for coming and we send our message back to the Afia for having brought us, for having given us this package. I think it is going to help this clinic improve. Yes, I do. Uh, I brought this all the way from Yonkers, New York. Yes. Over 6,000 miles. Yeah, you are welcome. We have <laughs> tried your best to reach here. Warmly welcomed, he presents the medical equipment donation to the management of the John Sickel Clinic that was highly appreciated. Medical supply, which you requested very much, is an ultrasound. And this is a portable ultrasound. And we will talk about all the applications that you can use here in the clinic. Thank you very much, doctor, for bringing this. I think we are going to do our best to, use the, to make use of this ultrasound scan to improve on the that uh, you requested from the Afia Foundation was a hemoglobin monitor and uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to use this Thank here in the clinic. Know. Next piece of equipment is a complete suture set for doing um, minor surgical procedures that you requested uh, from Afia. So, uh, syringes to remove earwax because in primary care, you have to take care of all the patients. And if they can't hear, they have real problems. <laughs> they discussed about the use and importance of the new introduced gadgets to the clinic and residents of Kabali district during this challenging time in most health centers. This is the Sonosite portable ultrasound. Yes. And it operates by battery. And I provided you with two batteries and it charges in the machine. And this will test, with this probe, this will test abdominal and uh, extremities, and especially with pregnancy, so you can determine how the pregnancy is progressing. I understand you have an ultrasound technician, yes. so that will be very helpful in getting accurate diagnosis. In addition, you'll be able to take this ultrasound as it's portable to all the small villages uh, to do uh, uh, ultrasounds in those areas that are very needed. It's very important because uh, we are doing outreaches. Uh, I think to, we shall be going with it and do some activities from the communities. The clinic officer also had to introduce the active employees he serves with in the Kabali community on behalf of the Afia Foundation. Thanks. Nice yes. to meet you. Yes. Very Thank nice. You, Welcome. Thank you. We appreciate the services we are bringing in Uganda. Really, we promise to do well since we have got this ultrasound scan. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who is the uh, head of the uh, family planning department? Is Evelyn. Hi. Welcome, Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. God bless you all. Who is the uh, head of the uh, family planning department? Is the room Evelyn? Hi. Awesome, Thank, Doctor. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. God bless you all. Clinician who is handling our lab. Everest. Thank you. Yes, you can use the hemoglobin machine. Yeah, yes, this one is where we use the hemoglobin machine. Yes. We have a nurse, Gloria. She's a nurse. Nice to meet you. Thank you. The visit of the Afia Foundation representative from the United States of America, Dr. Stephen Kelly, is believed to have caused effective change to the communities of Kabale and Uganda at large as a country. More support is called for by all able stakeholders to develop and strengthen this foundation in Uganda and East Africa in general. All your efforts are highly appreciated.